Good morning, YouTube. Haven't done a video in a while. Been super, super busy. And I've been working a lot. There's a lot of things going on, man, right now in the world that is just, it's just unbearable at times. We've been dealing with this whole COVID-19 virus. Then we de we're dealing with the murder of an innocent black man. And now we're dealing with basically it feels like another race war because of people and hatred in our world. And it's it's sad that you can't you can't live a peaceful life anymore and have basically a good a good decent life without somebody trying to destroy it or sabotage it or cause cause you harm and it's sad that people can't go check their basically even check their mail without having to worry if they're going to be shot it's sad that you can't go to the store for the fear of being shot or or suffocated or beat and it's it's just it's a sad world it's a sad world to, to know that you can't go to work without having to worry about whether or not you're going to make it home to see your family. You know, when you get a cop, he gets up in the morning, he puts his badge, his, his, his uniform on and his badge, or her uniform and her badge. They go out the door. You know, they have families. That, a lot of them have families. Some don't. Some, you know, we're all human, so... But the ones that do have families, they go out the door and they have to worry about whether or not they're going to come home to see their families again. You know, and they go out. Not all of them go out with the same the same thoughts and, and ideas that they're going to go out and police and make the world a better, safer place. Some of them do go out with intent to cause harm to others. But some just go out and try to, to keep us as citizens safe you know just like other people that get up in the morning and go to work at a bakery at a store to build a house to a post office to do lawn care whatever it is that they do to teach we all have to worry about whether or not we're going to get pulled over and something happen look we are all humans we all live on this planet together. It's time that we start treating each other with respect, honor, and give each other the, the, the you know, the same respect that everybody else deserves. We get, I give it to you, you give it back. There shouldn't be no, oh, you're a different color than me, so I'm going to treat you bad, or there shouldn't be none of that. Um, you see my skin tone, my skin complexion. Um, got, you know, I got Indian in me, um, as do a lot of us that live in Georgia, as do a lot of us that live in America, period. We all got, some of us have Indian, some of us don't, but what I'm getting at is you see my skin tone, my skin tone. All right. I have mixed kids. My wife's mixed. And I have one daughter that looks white. I have another daughter that shows her skin complexion. She's dark. I can take my daughter that looks white with me. We can go to the store. And anywhere that we go, it's just, you know, I never really have any issues. Everybody's always laughing and cutting up with my daughter. Now, I take my other daughter with me. It's this dark. And I notice the difference. People don't talk to us as much. They, they see us, and I have actually had somebody get mad because we were walking in, in the store, and she said that we cut in front of her when we didn't. We didn't cut in front of that woman, but she acted like we did something wrong. And in reality, we were just there to buy something for her mother. So what I'm getting at is that people that are white don't necessarily see unless they're treated by somebody else because they're poor or they're they're you know they don't see the things that 
people with the darker skin complexion see. They don't see that. You can't sit here and tell me that you understand when you have no idea what they go through. I've seen it because I've been standing there and I've seen how my daughter's been treated. I've seen how I've been treated because of me having a mixed daughter. And let me tell you, it's not a good feeling. Um, we got to come together, guys. We got to start treating people with respect. Me and my wife can walk through a store and it's not as bad now as it used to be, but we used to get people would cut their eyes at us and they would just make these, like snarl their nose up. I've been stared at at a red light for the duration of the entire red lights just because they see us as mixed couples. They see us in there and they're just like, like it disgusts them. And it's not right. It's not, we shouldn't have to feel that way. It doesn't matter who you're with, the color of their skin or nothing. It doesn't matter if, the, if, if you're gay, lesbian, if you're a mixed, it doesn't matter. You love who you love and it doesn't, it's nobody else's, it's not for nobody else to decide. It's not for nobody else to judge you because of that. I'm sorry, but I don't think so. I don't think it's right. Um, but it's, uh, people need to put themselves in our shoes. You know, imagine you had a mixed child. Imagine that your wife was mixed. Imagine that you, you know, or with a black woman, a black man, or vice versa, or whatever, or you're gay, or whatever, and you go out somewhere and somebody treats your spouse or your significant other or your child the way that that they treat you know badly or look down on you for that. It's not right, guys. This is America. The soil we stand on. Under our feet, right here, we all should be equally able to stand on and have pride in who we are. That's all I have to say about that. I hope and pray that everybody out there has a safe, safe day and that we start to feel love for one another again and the hate goes away, guys. We, we're, this isn't who we are. All lives matter. All lives matter. Thank you, guys. Click the like and subscribe button. Promise to bring new videos.